All right, guys, so today we're going to draw a picture that we are going to then divide in half and color half warm and half cool colors. So we're going to start today with a picture of a house. So on my paper, I am going to draw out the ground that my house is going to sit on. You guys will follow along with that on the ground for your house. Then right in the middle, I am going to draw my house here. So I'm going to start with a line up and over. And then I'm going to come back down to the ground. Like I just made a little box. And then I'm going to draw my roof on top. And for this, we're going to keep it pretty simple for right now going to draw the roof so I'm going to give it a triangle and then I want to go through and draw my details so you guys can draw the same details as me on your house or you can give your house its own choice of details I'm going to come up and draw a chimney I'm going to have some smoke like they've got a fire going in their chimney out and I'm going to come back in and draw a door. And then I'm going to add some details all around my house. So if you want to add some trees or bushes, or if you want to add some butterflies floating along, we do learn how to draw those the other week. And I'm going to kind of draw all kinds of stuff, but we want stuff on both sides of this house. So we want to make sure we include details on either side of the house since we're going to be dividing our paper down the middle to color one half one way and one half the other way. So remember, you can follow along with me or you can choose to create your own details. You do not have to draw it the same way I'm adding mine. All right, so once I have some details kind of on here and I got my cloud up here, what I'm gonna do next is right at the top of my house, I am gonna draw a line and I'm gonna make it a dash line that goes right down the middle of my drawing. And once I have this, and guys, this is our practice here. So making some awesome but this is really to help us learn about our colors I'm gonna have this side of my paper as my warm colors and this side of my paper as my cool colors which means that even if you drew a bush if it's on the warm side even if those normally would be green leaves they are only gonna be warm colors and if it's on the cool side they can only be those cool colors and remember, if you don't remember which is which you can always scroll back to our previous screen where we have those colors listed out on there. But we're going to go through, we're going to do our warm and cool. All right, so going through, you can, or I am going to also have this little thing on the side as we're coloring in to help us figure out and remind us which we're using. Now remember, it also means you can do like light reds or light oranges, dark reds, light greens, dark blues, that's all okay too. So I'm gonna keep this side my warm side and this side my cool side on here. So I'm gonna go through and color in all of my details and you guys, when you finish drawing your picture, are gonna do the same. All right, so here you can see I have my warm side of the house using my oranges, reds, and yellows. And remember, pink is just like yellow so, or light red, so that works into there. I've got this side done. So think about it, even though I had things like a tree or a leaf or the trunk of the tree, a cloud that would normally be colors like brown or green or blue, if it's on my warm side, I needed to make it a different color. And the great part about this, since this is art, it doesn't have to be realistic. So it can be whatever shades of those warm colors that you want. So now we're gonna move on to the cool side. I have my cool 
colors all spread out here and covering the other side. So even though things like grass were green, I don't necessarily have to color them that same color. So now that is where we are going to stop today with our half warm, half cool color drawing. Bye guys.